This is what faces the riders on the way from Molveno to Cassano Dada. Just one categorized climb of the day. And that's the first obstacle they have to get over. It comes with 96.5 kilometers remaining, so just about the halfway point of today's stage. And it's the category four Paso Sant Eusebio. Straight line, really, pretty much all the way to the finish at Cassano Dada. Not the most technical of finishes, and uh, should be a fast track for the sprinters or what remains of them on this race. Now, this time, Jupo is interested in contesting this a little bit with Daniel Oss, which won't please the big man from BMC too much. But Jupo's going to make a game of it, and I think Oss just got the better of him. But uh, yeah, it's interesting. He didn't bother contesting the first one, but Jupo getting involved with Daniel Oss. Oh, we've got a counter attack. We, we have sorry, indeed. No? So over the top of that intermediate sprint, three riders have got away. We've got a rider from Lotto Sudal. It looks like Sean the B, I think. No, uh, sir. From Lotto Sudal. Lars Who's back, oh, Lars Knobolovas, back. and one more rider on the back from Katusha. Uh, two groups coming together now at the front. So we have a group of six with a lead of around 25 seconds and 22 Ks remaining. Well, let's just come out to that roundabout now we were talking about earlier on. It will rise ever so slightly here, so this might be the end of the breakaway group's chances. Yeah, you can see now Lamprey Marida finally getting control of the front of the bunch and bringing this group of six back into the fold. Well, Pippa Pizzato has sensed that the chase will be significantly reduced in strength because of the chasing that they've had to do with this group. He's now found himself off the front with about a 20-metre lead over the group behind being led by Katusha, and that is beginning to increase. Can Pippa Pizzato pull off a famous win? Well, there'll be people all around Italy standing up and watching this with fascination and some sense of delight as well. Rolling back the years for Villa Triestina Southeast these days. Pippo Pizzato, one of the national darlings, is soloing to victory in the final seven or 800 metres of the race. What advantage does he take in? Not enough, surely, to hold off this frenetic chase behind him, as still they gang up on him. Porsef has a rider working for him. There is the red jersey of Nizzolo, and he is uh, latching on to a sprint that's opening up. Still, they haven't got across to Pippo Pizzato as I am cycling. Take Roger up Kluger, in the German track sprinter, has gone straight past Pippo Pizzato, but I am cycling. He could desperately do it, really. It looks like he's going to get it. It looks like Kluger is going to get the better of all of them. The end of the challenge for Pizzato as they range up behind him. Heartbreak once again for Nitolo, who just hangs on for second place. Nicky Asant in third, but Roger Kluger steals a march on all of them. And in a Week of terrible news for Iron Cycling. They taste victory. Third place for Nikias Arndt. Sasha Modolo relegated off the podium on the day. He won stage 17 last year. Fourth place was the best he could do. But what about Giacomo Nizzolo? Nothing changes in the overall standings. Roger Kluger might take his 10 seconds time bonuses.